So the user manual is very easy to follow, but I'm gonna make sure that I have the instructions in the video description for you, just in case. Okay, for the setup, make sure that you have an active SIM card. So it's gonna be a nano SIM card. Uh, this is used to set up the connection and set up the wireless CarPlay. You then insert the USB-C cable into the USB-C slot on the device and then to the car. So now what you need to do is you need to wait around 40 seconds for the device to turn on and connect the Wi-Fi network. Okay, so now what you need to do is go into the menu and then go into the Wi-Fi settings and search for the network. So I'm going to select auto kit and the password is eight times eight. Confirm. Now what I need to do is go into Wi-Fi settings, go back to the network, and I need to click on remain connected in drive and connect. Go into the browser. So you need to go into your iPhone and pair the device. So let's go into Bluetooth and select auto kit and pair it. Well, allow contacts, of course. Now it's gonna prompt you to use CarPlay with AutoKit. And now it's connecting. Well, I don't really see any lag. Ever so slightly, you're gonna see a slight difference to what the actual Tesla app is, you know, in terms of fluidity, the smoothness. The one thing I would love is if this would turn into a full screen, you know, there's, there's no way it can, obviously, because it's a browser. And the one thing to note is, now this is Apple CarPlay, but they have released a software upgrade that will allow you to use the same device for Android Auto, which is amazing. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to exit the car, you know get into the car like I would do for the first time in my day and see how easy it is to access the Apple CarPlay app when I drive every day and there you go it's already connected via Bluetooth remember that Apple CarPlay over here is going to be accessible only through the browser so what i've done is i've just added this to favorites which is great keep in mind after the initial setup of inserting the sim connecting to the wi-fi and bluetooth these indicators on the device should be in green remember you're going to need the sim card only during the setup after that you can just remove it off and you have wireless apple carplay and android auto without the sim card all you need is just a bluetooth connection and you're good to go. Okay, so the one thing that you need to do before you start using Apple CarPlay is try and update to the latest software. In this particular software update, it seems like it's going to optimize auto connection better, which I've not really seen any issues with the connection, but if it is going to help it improve it, I'm all for it. So make sure that you always upgrade to the latest software. So yeah, the setup was very easy. It took me barely, what, 10 minutes to set this up. Uh, I am going to test this out in the next few days to see, you know, how the connection is. I will make sure to provide my feedback in the comments below. Make sure to interact over there. Yeah, I really like this device and I'm so glad that I have Apple CarPlay play an Android Auto in my car. I don't know when Tesla will release it, but for now, I'm pretty happy with this device. I highly recommend it. Until the next time, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll come up with more videos on Tesla and tech very soon. Stay tuned, my friends. Take care.